say I sense what's happening, I go by the name of Murder She Wrote, and let's redo this. Oh, like, share, She's still a subscribe. Woman. And when you're a woman, you can do shit like that. Come on now. Second of all, she married. So she grown, she married, and she a woman. So she could be pregnant. So I'm not shocked about that. But what I am shocked about, and what I'm surprised about, is at the age of 48 years old, the brat is getting ready, getting ready to be a mama and a grandmama at the same damn time. <laughs> Bitch, I'm shocked. <laughs> what? And her baby is coming into an elite group of people that I happen to be a part of. Her baby is what you call an old egg. Oh, bitch, I was an old man. My mama had me late in life. Let me tell you something. The average childbearing age is 26 to 36. Bitch, anything after that, you roll in the motherfucking dice. <laughs> My mama rolled the motherfucking dice. Bitch, I was an old man. And them old eggs, we come out different. First of all, we be old as a motherfucker when we come out. What? I was two years old putting deodorant on. Bitch, you know that? When you standing in like this waiting on a bitch to put deodorant on you? They didn't have to potty train me. I came out with a pull-up on. Bitch, fuck the power. I was an old lady. And I was smart as a bitch. Mary had a little lamb. I knew all that shit. All that shit. I was at the top of my class. So I'm excited she having an old egg. Now don't confuse an old egg with old nut. <laughs> an old egg and old nut is two different things. We done all seen some old nut kids. First of all, them old nut babies, they come out, they come out with that my daddy old face. You know they got that old man face, my daddy old face. You don't fuck around and see the young girl fuck around and have a baby by the sugar daddy. She done named that baby Dante. He look just like Mr. Leroy. You be like, child, please. That baby look just like Mr. Leroy. That motherfucker five years old got to receive the hairline and every motherfucker baby. He walk around the house with a tire on vacuum and won't go outside and shit. Be the youngest deacon on the deacon boy. This doing all old man shit. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. And y'all keep us lifted in prayer. Keep us as comedians lifted in prayer. We travel all around the country each and every weekend. And it's a lot of shit going on right now. I'm serious with the country. Everything is all fucked up. Our president, our ex-president finally went to prison. Went to jail. And this bitch was impeached twice. <laughs> finally, finally got locked up. And I'm mad that he turned himself in. I wanted that bitch to get a Bronco. <laughs> I say, bitch, come get me. I'm watching TV like, give me something, give me something, give me something. The new Bronco, nice as a motherfucker too. I want that bitch to ride out, ride out. But I don't even know if y'all know what the fuck Trump got locked up for. Do y'all realize Trump got locked up because he bought some pussy and tried to write it off on his taxes? <laughs> so this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. But keep us lifted. Cause I mean, every time you turn around, there's new shit happening. They shooting balloons out the sky, motherfucking terrorist attack, people fighting all in the airports and shit. And you see what the cartel did to the tourists, American tourists that was over there, kidnapped them and killed them. Crazy. Bitch, I ain't going to Mexico or Taco Bell. I'm not fucking with none of them. <laughs> One thing I feel safe about is that we always fly Delta. We fly Delta Airlines, and the hub is Atlanta. And one thing I love about going through Atlanta, first of all, Atlanta is a black city, and it's got a black airport with all black employees. When I tell you that's some BET Live type of shit, black entertainment. 
light entertainment all fucking day long. First of all, we feel blessed because all the female janitors got on church wigs. <laughs> so when you're walking through the airport, they be like, bless you, sweetie, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. I tell you the funniest shit to see. See all them old thug ass niggas who rap career never got off the ground? You see them motherfuckers finally have to get a job. And usually their job is pushing the old people in the wheelchair in the airport. You ain't seen no funnier shit than the nigga that doing a job he don't want to do, but he rapping and walking fast as a bitch with old people in the wheelchair. You should see them niggas rapping and pushing them old people in the wheelchair. Just old people just be holding on to fucking feet, rubbing rub the ground. This the shit is fucking hilarious. And how much work you putting in? All she gotta do is grip that bitch, and it's all done. It's like a little nigga on the inside giving you a hug. The grip. Don't lose your grip, ladies. Cause if you lose your grip, now you're gonna have to let them use the celebrity entrance. Oh, no. You know famous people don't come in the front door. They come in the back door. Look, I should have never told niggas that. Look how they swing their legs. God damn. It's gonna be his birthday. He's gonna be like, I thought you gonna let me use the celebrity. Treat a nigga like a star tonight. Y'all laughing, but y'all shit gonna change too. Why your shit gonna change? Your balls gonna drop. Your balls gonna get long as a motherfucker. Your balls gonna get so long that every time before you sit down, you're gonna have to swing up a little bit to keep from sitting on them bitches. Swing up? Come on, ladies, you done seen them do that shit. They just sitting down, y'all gonna sit.